Hey guys, what's up? This is PS3 Chris Ronaldo, and today I'm gonna be uh, making a video on how to get kill feeds on COD 4. Um, when I was uh, back then, when I was just like barely new to you know kill feeds and all that, I like I tried to look up um, how to get kill feeds, and I never saw seen a video. So I was like, man, why hasn't someone made a, a video about this? And then now, I know a little bit on how to get kill feeds and what kind of game types to play. And so, that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today. Uh, and if you're curious about this or, you know, want to know how to do this, it's very simple. Um, so, alright, let's get started. Um, of course, you're going to need COD 4. Uh, you can be on PC, Xbox, or PS3, it doesn't matter. Um, then for your class okay we're gonna start out with our class for your class I'm gonna just pick this class okay this is my class that I use to get um, kill feeds and whatnot I usually I, uh, I use it regularly um, a lot I use it a lot when I play um, hardcore headquarters um, and I'll get more into that but um, yeah so this is a class I use for hardcore headquarters um, I have a M48 3 no attachments, uh, blue tiger. For you, you can get, you can use any gun, it doesn't matter. Any, ma any gun, any attachment, any, um, any camo, it doesn't matter. But for me, I personally like the M40, so I'm gonna just go with my M40. For your side arm, for your secondary, the, I usually pick the Deagle, but you can, pick any of these classes doesn't matter I've seen kill feeds with all those guns uh, if you want to get a kill feed which is secondary it's your choice um, for, bleh. <sighs> for a special grenade it doesn't matter I usually use stun because that's how I roll uh, perk 1 bandolier this is like a must because you need extra ammunition to kill all those guys that are coming at you so yeah second perk Okay, this is gonna depend on your game type. If you're playing normal, uh, normal game like uh, normal game type like domination, ground war, uh, uh, team deathmatch, you're gonna use stopping power. And if you're playing hardcore, you're gonna be using sleight of hand. And this is a must for all for all guns. It doesn't matter what kind of gun you're using. Um, and for perk three is deep impact. Cause you're gonna want to get like a, a bullet through five guys, one bullet, five guys. That's what we got. That's what you're aiming through, aiming for. So yeah, deep impact. That's a must. And you can rename it anything you want. It doesn't really matter. And uh, that's it for the classes. Now for the game type, there are a couple game types you can do this in. Uh, really um, popular. A way that people get uh, kill feeds is hardcore headquarters. If a hardcore headquarters, um, you're gonna be using that side of hand. So, and don't play hardcore team deathmatch or any of these, cause um, you have to every time you die you have to wait like 15 seconds. Uh, and in hardcore headquarters you don't have to wait unless the the catcher of the headquarters. So you're gonna get more people to, you know, be coming through your little spawn trap and you won't die if you die you know in one of those instances so yeah and for normal game types um, I would recommend I wouldn't really recommend team deathmatch if you want to go on team deathmatch try to get something out of it it's your choice um, I normally don't go for in there just for kill feeds like I'll go in there just to practice my quick scopes that's about it um, free for all yeah, I guess you can go on free for all if you're doing like some kind of free for all montage. Uh, you can like stand in a middle point and then get like all these guys that are coming from all different ways. So you can go on free for all; it doesn't matter. Okay, domination. Domination is a is like a spawn trap heaven. Um, if you ever seen the bog spawn trap, um, they capture the I think A and B. Or C or B, something like that, and then some guy just stands in that little 
by that little thing and then just starts killing them once they spawn. Um, but they mostly do it on the ground war because there's more people coming, being in the spawn. So um, that gets you like more kills. Um, sabotage? Uh, no, uh, no, don't don't play sabotage. Headquarters? Uh, you could play normal headquarters if you want to, or doesn't matter because because hardcore headers is better because you're gonna get one shot, one kill, so it's actually better. But if you're not, you know, into hard hardcore, you can play he normal headquarters, and that's it. That's all you need to do. Um, a good class, uh, great, um, go into a good game type, and have some accuracy, and, um, stay in, stay in the spawn, like, don't stay in, s in their spawn, stay, like, outside of their spawn, kind of far away so they can still spawn there, or if you're just, like, um, sniping, you can have, like, a, uh, whatchamacallit, <sighs> Yeah, just just stay in one spot where you could kill them from their spawn. And if that's not working out for you, just go out and look for guy for like look for the enemy and then kill them. That's my That's what I'm telling you guys to do. If you got any other ways, you know, go with that. That work better. This is like the ways that I do it and uh, other people do it and I've seen other people do the same. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video and so yeah guys if you like this video if this was you know it, if uh, you learned something from this if this was something you were looking for for a long time uh, please thumbs it up favorite it you know so other people that wanted to see this video but never had the time like never saw it come up you know so they can see it and um, subscribe because you know I got I make a lot I uh, I make great videos and uh, try to you know have keep my subscribers content and uh, yeah guys peace out I'm out bye good day something bye.